Dateline Chiselton, a smoldering Chiselton, where the English summer had finally come at last. And summer in Chiselton means the Chiselton Formation dancing team dancing as usual in Chiselton Park. Don't you just love summertime, Willie? None of it means having to watch Chiselton Formation dancing team, Granny. Ah, yeah, but they're a grand bunch of girls. Girls, that lot. But what Super Grant didn't realize that day was that the Chiselton Formation dancers were not all that they seemed. Yes, old Fatty Legs, second from the right, was indeed a formation dancer by day, but a notorious cat burglar by night. Her trademark being that she couldn't stand heights, so she only ever burgled ground floors and basements, especially those containing food. Her other problem was she couldn't read too well either, so she very often burgled the wrong place. No! It's the Villa Villainous 13 Crook Gardens, you myopic mass of multitudinous flame! Oh. Sorry, Scanner. Funny. Yes, Catherine Burglar, known to her friends as Cat, was the sort of criminal who gave even the Scunner Campbell hope of rising in the Gangster's League table. Evening, Cat. Hello, Rupert. Going my way, Cat. Poor Cat was always singularly unsuccessful, fat and lonely, which was why she joined the formation dancers in the first place. If only I could give up my life of crime, Scanner Campbell. Surely you're not thinking of going straight, Cat. Not at your time of life. <laughs> I mean, you're hardly a spring chicken, eh? <laughs> More like a bulbous old boiler, eh, Uncle? I mean, they're fed up with me at the Chisholm Police Station. The Scunner Campbell watched, mesmerized. A sudden thought crossed his crooked brain. Did you see what I see? I see a fat lady playing snooker, boss. Oh, what a potter. Oh, she's potty all right, boss. <laughs> Tell me, Kent. Can you do that all the time? Yes. Oh, yeah. Perfect. By the end of that day, the Scunner Campbell was walking on air. Yes, you could keep your Joe Johnsons, your Hurricane Higgins and Whirlwind Whites. The next snooker sensation just had to be Fat Cat Burglar. Disaster. Why don't you bog off and put your pink somewhere, you pusillanimous old pensioner? thought to see Roderick Scanner Campbell earning a living and legitimately too. <laughs> but unfortunately for the Scanner Campbell, Cat Burglar still couldn't resist her old habits of breaking and entering. Oh, so 
salary. What do you mean you just fancied a free bag of chips? You're supposed to have a match in Paddleton tonight, you nodule of nefarious fat. Oh, no, Scanner, I'm sorry. I mean, do you think the great Ginge would be champion today if he'd been a cat burglar on the side? No, Scanner. Well, then, we're going up in the world, right? I'll show that parchment face bag of super bones and the most important personage if it's the last thing I do. But unfortunately for the Scunner Campbell, news of his good fortune traveled fast. Read all about it! Scunner Campbell rises up the league tables! Unfortunate death! Read all about it! Scunner Campbell rises up the league tables! And shortly afterwards came high noon in Chiselton. Shot Houlihan had been summoned to Chiselton by the big shot of the Gorbals gangster world. Mr. My Big, I presume. <laughs> you two. Get him in the car. So the scene was set for the snooker showdown. I've got 50 here. Says my boy will beat your player any day. Is that so? Uh-huh. Well, I think we can match that, eh, lads? Not 50p, you stupid. 50,000. Pounds? Pounds. That's Satan Pompadoums. Where am I going to get that kind of money? A short-term loan? But you're already overdrawn, Campbell. <laughs> don't worry, squeeze them, old bean. It's an absolute cert. But supposing I don't give it to you, Campbell? What then? Then I'll rob you again, reptile face. <laughs> In that case, the keys to the safe, Miss Witherspoon. <laughs> One thing, Scunner. I, myself, personally, will hold the kitty. This ain't no cat show, Squeezum. This is the most biggest, importantest snooker contest ever! Yes, it seemed the whole of Chiselton had gone snooker crazy. Even Super Granny Smith herself had been bitten by the bug. You are, Granny. Willie Thorne. No, no, will it? That's Willie Thorne. I'm only trying to give him a few wee pointers in order to improve his game, that's all. You're showing him? Eight. Well, I'm no super sporting super granny for nothing. Is that not right, Mr. Thorne? That's right, Super Grand. But as time drew nigh for the championship showdown, there was just one great problem, the players. One was flat on his back in the Hoodlum Hotel, while the other was missing.
Meanwhile, as the small but select entire population of Chiselton gathered for the great event, the Scunner Campbell was having a minor heart attack. We've looked everywhere for our boss. This is no sign of our uncle. They get back out there and look for him. Rollicking oh, roller coasters. Where is that fat cat? Time, 1.39 and counting. No trouble, I hope, Scanner. Trouble, Mr. Squeezum. Lord, no, certainly not. Because you do know. I mean, it is in the rules. You'll forfeit the entire match, not to mention the entire kitty, if your player doesn't turn up. You're all heart, Squeezum. I know, Campbell. I'm a bank manager. Meanwhile, at the Hoodlum Hotel. Oh <laughs> now I thought I told you to keep your eye on him, eh? Inside, Hulan, your audience and my 50,000 are waiting. Well, go on, get in! While not far away, the one-time formation dancer, Cat Burglar, and now would-be snooker star, was just finishing her pre-match binge. Whoop! Time I was here. Time, eight minutes to go and counting. Yes, while Hotshot Houlihan was arriving to the acclaim of the crowds, the Scunner Campbell was in trouble, as usual. You're asking me for help? Just this once, I mean, magical moment. Lost your player, eh? He just mislaid min a min a magnificence. So I was wondering if uh, you could perhaps use your X-ray vision, your superpowers as sort of locator in time. <laughs> You can be sure of my undying gratitude. Oh, I'm sure. What's the old bat in the tartan doing on the floor? That's no old bat. That's super gran. Is that the old bat who boldly goes where no granny has been before? That's her, all right. I can see her now. Consuming comestibles in the cholesterol cake shop. The cholesterol cake shop? That's blinking miles away. Well, someone get that old bat off there in case she ruins the bays. Well, well, well. If it isn't the great Gobbles gangster himself, but Biggie the baddie. Well, you get a move on, minch bag. Dinner fret, I'm on my way. Super Gran will save the day. Afternoon, Super Grand. Off on some more good works, are we? Come along, Rupert. Or we're going to be late for the snooker match. Do you have to take them along, too? Well, we can't just leave them here on their own, can we? And they're all snooker fanatics, aren't you, lads? <laughs> Meanwhile, as the time ticked on for the cream slice snooker star, time was also ticking away for the Scunner Campbell. Candy shop. There we are. Cholesterol cake shop, page 48. 1A. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. Go <laughs>
Oh, Superman. Thank goodness. 20 seconds to ruin. Just here, boss. I'll give you the cholesterol key. Show up your quivering colossal crumb. I feel a bit sick, Scanner. Sick? Hey, that's all I need. Suppose she loses, boss. She can't lose if she doesn't ruin. Hotshot Houlihan downing that very last drop of pop and heaving himself up out of his seat now to break off. And the entire population of Chiselton now getting behind the challenger. Mr. Black, which the white? What? That one. How much did we pay to bring him from Canada? style a great deal more interesting. Ted! Ted! It is perfectly obvious to me that neither of these players can play. So I suggest that Mr. McBig plays on behalf of his client and um, Scunner Campbell... Hey, back any please, Zucker. Oh, dear. What a shame. But if you don't play, Uncle, we'll lose the £50,000. I know, Tub, I know. Woman. Hey, I suppose, uh, I suppose with your super strength, super hearing, super everything, you wouldn't have to be a super snooker grand by any chance, would you, you minge bag? Oh, aye. Plays even better than me, eh, will he? Free to Mr. Thorne. Perfect. What, her? The tart and twit that jumps through walls. Well, play on my behalf. Well, it's highly of regular, but, uh, well, I see no reason against it. Go to it, vision of veteran loveliness. On one condition, Roderick. On any condition, scrag faced I mean, sweetness and light. <laughs> We need a newly equipped ward for the Chiselton Children's Hospital. Anything, Haggis said. Anything, so long as you win. Uh-huh. Well, it's a deal. Thanks very much. And so in a resumed all-star snooker special, it's Mick Big of 34, the Garbles, and a villa in Tenerife to break off. Whoa. An amazing shot. And now it's Super Gran. She's having a look at the table. There must be something she can do, even at this crucial stage. Twenty-nine. One hundred and forty. 
There's just a black Romanian. Can she do it? Can she make it a record break? What a stroke. What a granny. The entire population of Chiselton is on its feet, as well it might be. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand pounds! Oh. And what about the Chiselton Children's Hospital? Anything you like, Piranha Feast. Which has been costed at, guess what? What? £49,999.90. 10p. Oh, you're so generous, Roderick. Riches at last. Well, maybe call it Scanner Campbell Ward. Then again, maybe not. And there was a happy outcome elsewhere, too. Travelling lighter, sea catty. So what's your next port of calling? Oh, hot shot here is taking me to Canada with him. And what with all those skyscrapers and my fear of heights, I shan't want to burgle any more, will I? <laughs> my little chickadee. <laughs> a very large chickadee, I'd say. That's enough from you. Nothing that she can't do. 